This is Pastor Richard, and you're watching Anchored in Christ, a weekly vlog from St. Paul's Lutheran Church to know what we believe and why we believe it to be anchored in Christ's word for us. This week we're looking at John chapter 6, that feeding of the 5,000, but more specifically we want to look at verse 2. Let's pull that up here right now. As we see in John 6, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, and a large crowd was following him because, why? They saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Now let's look at the word sign. So what on earth is a sign? Well, John uses this term sign some 17 times in his gospel, and we think of that first sign being Jesus turned turning water into wine. These signs are markers, they're pointers to get not only the people of the first century but us as readers to say who on earth is doing this sign? What is it about this Jesus uh, that is doing this sign? The sign itself is to function to point us away from that miracle to the miracle giver. Think of it this way. I know in North Dakota uh, we have these point of interest signs and you could be driving down the highway and the sign will say point of interest 1.5 miles uh, up ahead. Now imagine maybe you are driving on that same road as we are, the Richard family, and you come upon this point of interest sign and you see myself, and my wife and kids, maybe we're sitting in the grass looking at this point of interest sign or maybe even hugging it, taking pictures, you would say, my goodness, you're missing the point, Matt. You're missing the point, Richard family. Uh, that point of interest sign is good, but you need to go down the road, another 1.5 miles, because what it's revealing and pointing to is much better down the road. And that's the same thing what we see in the Gospel of John. These signs are intended to point not only the people of the first century, but you, the reader, to listen to Jesus. Yes, to listen to Jesus. And so, unfortunately, what can happen is we become so fixated just on the sign that we miss that sign giver. We can be some, become so fixated on the sign itself that we fail to listen to Jesus, the one doing the sign. And that is the whole purpose of the signs in the Gospel of John. So as you read this and as you teach it, as you think about this with your kids and yourself, yes, indeed, marvel at the signs, marvel at the water to the wine, marvel at the sick being healed, marvel at the bread and that fish being multiplied, but do not forget to listen to the one doing those signs because those signs, again, they are pointers and markers to point us to who? To Christ and who he is for you and for me. I hope that helps and we'll catch that and catch you next time.